Hello, Miami. This is Drill Fight Sports Now, your home podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will, and thanks to all of you for staying up and watching this latest video. Um, it was a very tough night for the Miami Heat as they fall to the New York Knicks by a score of 111 to 105. I'll get to the game two in a minute. I just thought, like I always tell you, I do the first two games, you know, of every of every playoff series. You know, that way, I'm, I, and I also do the shorts as well for the first games, you know, so that way you guys get some content, but not over overwhelmed since I do so many things uh, at a time, like Dolphins, uh, Heat, Hurricanes, etc. But thank you for the Hurricane support. Um, the, the viewership has been very good with the Miami Hurricanes front. You will be getting, hopefully, a special guest who is a former Kane real soon. All right, once I record that episode, I will let everybody know who that individual is. And also, I uh, just wanted to go over um, game one first. For the Miami Heat, you know, this past Sunday, it was a great game for the Heat, you know, defeating the Knicks by a score of 108 to 101. Jimmy Butler with his double-double of 25 points, 11 rebounds. Gabe Vincent just being money from three-point land, adding 20 points to the game. Miami's defense was just stellar, only having really one bad quarter against the Knicks. They took a good punch. As I mentioned, the short from the Knicks, and then bounce back to pretty much control the game from 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 there on. All right, except for that one moment where Jimmy Butler, with about 5:30, shall we say, remaining in the game, busts up his ankle and he was out for game two. Now I have to say, you know, I knew it was going to be very difficult with Julius Randle coming back to defeat, you know, the New York Knicks at Madison Square Gardens in game two. But I have to say one thing: the Miami Heat did pull up one hell of a fight i mean to the point that i'm like oh my god i really do believe that we are going to be up 2-0 coming back to miami in the case in the arena this upcoming saturday you know um despite the fact despite the fact that jalen brunson and julius randall jalen brunson and julius randall um uh, you know pretty much for 55 points the miami heat did have its supporting cast did play fairly well uh, Bam and Abayo started out well. He was aggressive. He was attacking. He did get into some foul trouble, which only allowed him to play 38 out of the 48 minutes in the game. He did contribute with 15 points and 8 rebounds. I will say that. But I will say I did like what I saw to Kevin Love. I saw the, the impacts, you know, that Caleb Martin had. Caleb Martin was a flat-out stud tonight. 22 points, uh, hit four threes. Gave Vincent again, 21 points. Four threes as well. It was a good effort. So Cal Lowry as well with some good passes. Cody Zeller came in, you know, got some good rebounds as well. You know, was able to defend very well. I thought it was a good performance all around, right? Max Drews hit some shots as well. Duncan Robinson hit about two or three threes as well. So I thought the role players for Jimmy Butler being out did a very solid job within the circumstances because you don't have you don't have Jimmy Butler. And despite what how Tyler Hero's been this season. Um, he is he is one of the better three point shooters on this team, and he is the best free throw shooter on this team. You know, shooting at a ninety four percent clip. So those are those are players that are out. Jimmy is literally the the heart of this team, both defensively and offensively. He does everything. So I was very proud of the way the Miami Heat fought, but I really, really, really hate the way the game pretty much came to a conclusion in the fourth quarter. I am not excusing. The fact that there were some occasions in the game where the Miami Heat failed to blow the game open. I get that. They missed some open shots. All right. I understand that before. I get the Knicks fans, you know, coming after me. I understand the fact that they still allowed a 24 to 12 run to occur. But if you're an NBA official, you cannot egregiously blow a call the way you blew that call on, on Bam at a bio when uh, when Hardesty was trying to Hardesty was trying to set that pick which allowed Jalen Brunson to hit that three. It was absolutely egregious that you look at that play and you see well within uh, his setting up his shot, the foul occurred, all right? That was a four-point swing, all right, for the Knicks, all right? Then on top of that, you add the two points after that, which ties the game. The Miami Heat were up by six. Then they were tied, you know, pretty much in that game, basically at the snap of a finger, and that is just something that is flat out unacceptable. You can't call that. If you're going to look at it, you look at it and you make the assessment. That should have been two free throws and the Heat are only uh, up by four, not literally not up by two, then tied in the game. It was just horrific officiating by Scott Foster, who is a veteran of the NBA playoffs. And then all of a sudden as well, Caleb Martin shoots a three. It grazes the rim. 
with a few seconds left. It grazes the rim. Gabe Vincent is under there, gets a free, th- uh, gets a layup out of it, and you still call a 24 second violation. You should have reviewed that. It was so close that it should have been reviewed. Last season, you cost Max Struess a freaking three against Boston 10 minutes after the play had happened, and you blow this one again. All right, you blow this one again. If I'm a Knicks fan, I'm freaking worried. Let me tell you why. Because you were almost at full, you're literally at full strength. All right, with your best players on the court, and you and you still almost lost that game at home in your so-called Mecca. All right, in your so-called Mecca. You almost blew that game. You had Scott freaking Foster helping you out. I don't care what anyone says. Okay. The referees took points off the Miami Heat. It was it was literally a six-point swing, and then later on, a, a blown call on a 24-second violation. All right, now all celebrities, all cheering and all happy, and so I'm seeing Spike Lee who's been dressing the same way since the 1980s, you know, in this ridiculous jerseys, you know, cheering and being all happy. Then you see that poor excuse for a Luigi John Leguizamo you know, up and jumping up and down and stuff like that, like a freaking like a freaking hyena and stuff like that. I don't know what the hell he was doing. You know, I don't even think he knows anything about basketball. Hell, he doesn't know anything about movies either, right? If I'm New York, if I'm New York, you should be a bit worried. It took everything in your being to beat the Miami Heat, and you're going to Miami on Saturday with Jimmy Butler having about a week's rest. He's going to play that game. You had to literally convince him not to play tonight. He's going to play in that game. He probably won't be at 100%, but he'll be good enough to give you to give, to give the Knicks trouble. All right, to give the Knicks enough trouble, all right, that they may be down 3-1, heading back to the, to the mecca of Madison Square Garden. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Again, I don't like to blame officials because it's basketball. It happens, but that was bad. That was really bad. That was really bad because the Miami Heat could have easy, easily been up 2-0. In this series. Because when stuff like that happens, you change your offense, change the dynamics of the game. So, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. I'm upset. It's late. I get it. But the bottom line is, the bottom line is, it's a, it's a tie series. You, the Heat did what they were supposed to do. They got their split. Now they're going to come home, and more than likely, Jimmy Butler is going to play. All right. So, anyways, guys, if you like what you heard, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Real 5 Sports Now. Have a great night. God bless. See you soon. Go eat.